Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalren, and this BG is a commentary that I'm going to be doing over. The BG was pre-recorded and was actually one of my better BGs of this week. I felt I did fairly well playing Outlaw, and I kind of want to share it with you guys. And while you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background, I do want to talk a bit about a tweet that Helinka posted, talk a little bit about World of Work at PvP, and just have a bit of a general discussion. So let's get to it! Okay, so the tweet that Halinka posted is tracking trinkets in the UI in 2017, which is kind of just like a tweet post out of nowhere. All people can think of is a trinket tracker is going to be added possibly in the next batch of 7.2. I kind of want to talk about the tweet. I kind of want to talk about the addition of something like a trinket tracker and possible other add-ons that could be part of the Blizzard UI for PvP. And talk about what does this mean for the PvP in World of Warcraft. Now this video is basically going to be dissecting the tweet and dissecting the implementations of it and going fairly into detail so this video might come out to be a little bit boring but I will try to make a few jokes along the way. Like first take a look at my arena rating. Alright now we got the zinger out of the way let's talk about the tweet. So what the tweet is hinting at is ability to add a trinket tracker into the game and uh, this is both good and bad. But first I want to cover the good of this. First it's fairly easy to use, it's just a trinket tracker in the game. The argument for this is most of us that do PvP already have some kind of an add-on system, whether it be S Arena, Gladius, or if you're using some other third-party program. So this wouldn't really make a difference for anybody who already PvPs, but let's say somebody new comes into the game and they want to get into PvP, and to have a trinket tracker already be caked into the basic Blizzard UI would be a lot helpful for them because then it also reduces the amount of space you need to get an add-on. It also doesn't really force you to look into what an add-on is and how do you add it into your interface folder. Just take as somebody who is like fresh to World of Warcraft, has no idea what add-ons are, so it'd be very noob friendly. This also would be fairly convenient just as a trinket tracker for anybody playing any aspect of the game. So let's say you mostly raid or go into BGs, there's your trinket tracker. You know whether the flag carrier has a trinket or not. You go into arenas and you can see whether the healer or the DPS have a trinket it so it just allows you a little bit more information without having to include an add-on for it it's a lifestyle change more than anything now let's talk about the bad implementations I feel like if you were to add something like this which would normally be an add-on as part of the basic business UI you basically are almost taking a little bit less skill away from the game and where you can and where you can't use add-ons would be a difference between World of Warcraft retail just playing from your home and then tournament level World of Warcraft. If you're not aware, if you go into tournaments for World of Warcraft, you cannot use any add-ons. So then you see all the professional World of Warcraft players that are going to BlizzCon and other championships and other tournaments and that compete in other tournaments. Those players, for the most part, do not run with any add-ons. They only use whatever Blizzard UI, maybe even Blizzard timers that are given in order to keep track of DRs. So adding a trinket monitor takes away less skill from the game in terms of PvP. This also could be a gateway add-on addition, almost becoming like add-on becoming part of UI. Because maybe other add-ons that we use for PvP might become just simply part of UI. When it comes to World of Warcraft, like for example, a DR tracker, which again takes even more time and more attention away from the game itself and the skill that is required in order to perform well at the game, at least uh, the way that I look at it. It does take away from the personal player skill of being able to monitor for certain stats, being able to have some uh, silent mental counter in your head to basically get a feel for cooldowns, trinkets, the timer, two minutes versus one minute versus three minutes, just the basic things that get some players ahead of the competition compared to others. I also in some ways am for this, but I could see reasons to advise against it because of Legion PvP and just kind of how it turned out. Don't get me wrong, I love Legion PvP. I'm currently enjoying playing Outlaw Rogue. I am fairly satisfied with Legion and for the most part what PvP offers and I'm excited to see what comes out more. But I feel that Legion, starting with the prune and continuing on with some of the ability changes, it's just it seems that there's a lack of skill mechanics in PvP. There's less and less and less of them with almost every single expansion and Legion being one of the more relevant expansions where massive decrease of skill is just simply decreased and I feel that there are plenty of examples displaying where the devs kind of contributed to this lack of skill mechanics. For example, one of them being a talent for auto bubble. If you're not aware with retribution paladins, you have the ability of auto bubble. That means if you drop to a point of health where you would normally die, instead the game would bubble you. It would put your bubble at a reduced cooldown and it would give you some health after your bubble. So you don't ever have to watch out for your own health pool and knowing perfectly when to bubble. So there's no more of that player interaction to the basic ability. 
And I don't know how you as a viewer personal feel about this, but imagine the situation if Paladins had auto bubble, but then Mages had auto ice block, and Shadow Police had auto disperse. Now, the skill level for those abilities and playing those classes is definitely going to decrease because your average player isn't going to be able to monitor all these abilities and if by any reason they will go back to the normal system of you actually having to activate the ability in order to survive fatalities of sorts then there will be a different constraints in terms of pvp this is the kind of communities you're bringing in with these kind of auto abilities I also am a firm believer that adding passive abilities and auto abilities into PvP is in most cases not the best way of going about it to make PvP fun or intuitive or balanced because you add in a mechanic that a player cannot control so then you're taking away the access of a player's skill out of the picture and I'm not a big proponent of that. I also feel like what contributed to this decline in terms of like PvP and adding skill level to it is not all PvP talents for Mania classes are being reviewed often enough. Some classes do get major updates for the honor talents, but not a lot of them. I know from rogues, we haven't really had that many major updates for rogues. We've had a few changes for the assassination tree. Uh, one of the last ones we got is the ability for Phantom Knights to have increased radius and damage if it strikes three or more targets. And that's just silly that that's the only thing we have. I feel like nobody at the devs might have even looked at the fact that assassination has a row of talents where deadly brew is the only good talent for PvP because Mind Numbing Poison and Shiv are actually just subpar and henceforth are useless or are so niche that they have such a specific playstyle that it's really difficult to find those situations where those abilities would actually excel in. So then you have this weird disbalancing and it's like, hey devs, would be really cool if you guys took a look at these talents. No? Okay. So I'm pretty sure there are other classes that do suffer from, I'm, I'm, I'm saying suffer, I don't want to sound melodramatic, but I do feel like there are some classes who could use a revisiting of their own in order to see what abilities could be changed and altered for them in order to make the game more fun, more interactive, more intuitive, and give enough of variety and diversity into some of the towns that you can pick from in order to have, again, more variety, more fun, more changes, and the more changes we have in a game usually is for the better. And I guess I have a little bit of fear that if you were to add the Trinket Tracker for the basic Blizzard UI, you might be introducing more skill-less methods into PvP. And I do believe that this Trinket would be very convenient and does have a place, but I do believe that it might open up more opportunities for Blizzard to add other aspects of the game that make PvP maybe less fun, less skill-based, less intuitive, less interactive. Now I know in patch 7.2 they are coming out with a few good ideas of brawls which are fun. Those are basically various PvP situations with different mechanics. Like for example Arathi Basin but there's snow everywhere and your visibility of how far you can see is very very low. So then you're adding a little bit extra fun to the same BG you know. Or for example Eye of the Storm but everybody rides a goat mount and I'm going to be guessing that everybody can knock each other off using those goat mounts so the mid is going to be insanity all just it's gonna be great i love it but i do think that this is something that blizzard devs are currently focusing on is the casual aspect of the pvp and i'm all down for it i'm down for the brawls i think it's gonna be exciting to add a little bit of variety to the same old bgs that we usually run because devs can add even more content with brawls and uh, i guess sometimes there'll be maybe redos or re-rolls of same brawls that we've seen before kind of like how they do with hearthstone but i'm still excited for new pvp content regardless i do think that the devs are currently focusing on the casual aspect of the game rather than competitive aspects of world of work at pvp i feel that it would be good and i would be pretty happy if we saw devs focusing more on balance more of the changes more of adapting and buffing and changing classes as required and as needed as the pvp seasons go on as pvp changes are implemented and as the game continues to grow and adapt in terms of pvp and play styles and everything i do want to see a little bit more serious focus when it comes to pvp now on the idea of add-ons possibly becoming part of UI, I actually don't have any problem with add-ons becoming part of UI. I'm just not sure about this tracking trinket uh, add-on becoming part of UI because I feel like you'll just add so many other add-ons as part of your basic Blizzard UI that it actually might make the game in some cases maybe less fun and that's definitely something I want to go against. But I do believe that there are some add-ons that could be part of the basic Blizzard UI. And it's good that Blizzard is taking time to look at some of these add-ons and see if it's possible to incorporate them as part of the game. I'm very happy to hear that. But I'm just not sure if that'll be good to do that with all the add-ons. And maybe we should just hold them off for PvP. Maybe let the community decide on their own. Let the majority rule to see how they would interact and how they would react to all these changes happening in the game. 
and then kind of take their opinions and take their uh, criticism of it, maybe take their input and see if there's a way to find a more productive, more professional uh, PvP centric way of going about if you are going to be adding add-ons for PvP as part of the UI. I just want to make something clear at the end of the video. My goal is whenever I make a World of Warcraft PvP video is not to just bitch and complain. I mean, of course, I have those days. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody else does. But my goal is to have World of Warcraft a fun experience for myself and others and hope the devs are focusing as much as they can in terms of balance as well as promoting competitive nature of arenas and hopefully with appropriate words. That's honestly all I want. But let me know what you guys think about the changes that Blizzard could be coming up with UIs. What are your thoughts on adding something like a trink uh, trinket tracker? What are your thoughts on adding stuff like Diminishing Returns Tracker as part of the basic game? Although I would feel it would be interesting, I would like to hear you guys' opinion. I also got a question on how would you feel about Blizzard in terms of PvP? Do you think that they're maybe focusing too much on the casual aspects of the game? Or do you think the changes and the choices they're making for the game are overall for the better and they should just continue doing what they're currently doing because it makes you fairly happy as a consumer and as somebody who is currently playing World of Warcraft. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the video in the background of one of my better BGs of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.